everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Bailey and I am a dog mom to two beautiful dogs if I say so myself um, I have a standard burner doodle his name is moose and he is three years old and then I also have a Bernie's mountain dog her name is Mercedes and she is a year and a couple months so that is us in today's video I thought I would share with you guys how to sew cute dog bandanas this is something that I love to do in my spare time or if there's a holiday coming up and I want my dogs to look all festive and cute then I will just run to the store grab fabric and sew something together and they turn out pretty cute so that is gonna be today's video if you like it or find it helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and then also make sure you are subscribed down below that way you won't miss an upload and you can join our paws of purpose fam over here I thought I would start by showing you guys some bandanas that I have already made just to show you guys what we're doing today and to also give you some inspiration of things that you can do and you can make at home so it was recently the 4th of July so I made this bandana pretty simple and for this star in the middle I just used jeans like an old pair of jeans and just cut out a star and sewed it on there so that also goes to show you that this can be really inexpensive instead of buying bandanas all the time you can definitely save money by sewing your own at home so that is this one and then I made some spring ones so this rabbit fabric and then this is like pre-made trim and then I also made these for Valentine's Day so this one and I'll show you guys how I can get the heart in the middle and this one I sewed my own trim so I will also show you guys today how you can do this so instead of buying trim which can be expensive like on this one I'm going to show you guys how to make your own trim so that one was Mercedes and this one was Moose's for Valentine's Day so cute and then I also have some holiday ones so like this one for Christmas again that was pre-made trim that I used this one is just very basic no trim it's just cutting and sewing so you can also do something like this I also made one out of flannel and then did the pumpkin in the middle so for Thanksgiving this one was mousses and then this one I think is so cute and like so elegant for a dog bandana um, but it is this one I think it's so cute with like the pearl buttons up the middle I just I just think it's so cute and this fabric and yeah so those are some of the bandanas that I've made and that I will be showing you how to make at home by yourself and then next I thought I would show you guys what you will need before we get into the actual making the bandana portion so the first thing you'll need is a sewing machine you can do this by hand but it would take you a lot longer so I would highly recommend a sewing machine but if you don't have one it is still possible to hand sew the bandanas following this process I have a very basic sewing machine I got mine off of Facebook marketplace so if you're just looking for an inexpensive sewing machine that will just get the job done nothing too fancy then I would recommend checking out Facebook marketplace because that's where I got mine and it is doing really well the next thing you'll need is a thread and a threaded bobbin that match or go along with the colors or color in your bandana so I'm doing a pink one for Mercedes today so I have matching thread for that and then you are going to need fabric scissors the next thing you'll need is pins to help keep your fabric together when you're sewing and then you are going to need a template which I will talk about when we get to that portion but a template you're going to need a writing utensil a fabric pencil I honestly I just use a pen I do have a fabric pencil but I always use a pen so don't need anything fancy and then the fabric that you'll be using since I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own trim I'm gonna do the trim in this color and then I got this quarter fabric I think honestly I think I got this at Walmart um, so I'm gonna use this for the main bandana this is just fabric that I had on hand and then you are going to need a piece of cardboard which I will 
talk all about when we get to that point point. and then lastly this isn't a necessity or anything but if you want to add embellishments at the end then you can use these iron-on patches so I think I'm gonna be using this one today it's so cute and sorry if the camera is like shaking a little bit moose is on my bed and I have you guys set up on my bed so ignore that but yeah, that is everything you're gonna need. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is iron our fabric. So I have both of my fabrics here and we want our fabric as flat as possible. It just makes it easier and also helps with the accuracy of the sizing. So like for instance, this one came all folded up as you can see. So I'm going to iron this one out and same with the other one. fabric so once you've done that then we're gonna get into the tracing and cutting so this brings me to templates and how you can make your own I made this one by myself and how you can do that is just go to your favorite bandana shop maybe you bought from a bandana shop before and you really liked how that sizing fit your dog bandana shops usually have their sizing and you can from their sizing create your own so I just got cardstock and I looked at several different bandana shops to kind of get like an average sizing for I have a small medium and a large template this is my medium template so yeah that's how I kind of get the sizing but you do want to keep in mind that their sizing is after it has been sewn so if you are using their sizing you want to add like a quarter of an inch around the whole entire thing to make sure that when you sew it it is that size i hope that makes sense but yeah their sizing that they have posted or bandana shops that they have posted is after sewing and does not account for hems so i've made that mistake before where i just took their sizing and then started sewing and my bandana came out a little smaller and i was like oh yeah i did not account for him so you can do like a quarter of an inch just adding a quarter of an inch of an inch all the way around and that will get you pretty close to that sizing that's how i made mine and then also just like holding it and you know making sure that it is symmetrical and just playing around with it i think once you start sewing you'll kind of figure out what you like what you don't like for example my first templates had a pointed tip right here but now I use a curved tip and especially if you're going to do trim I highly 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 recommend curving the bottom tip right there because if it is very angular it's kind of hard to work around and it kind of makes the trim look a little awkward because it's such a tight um, it's such a tight corner to sew through so yeah that's what I recommend for templates that's how I did it and then you're also going to need your fabric scissors and your utensil that you're using so I'm going to start with the main fabric so what you're going to do is take your main fabric and you're going to fold it over on itself so folding it and then you want to place your template on top and the folded over part you're going to want the top of the template to be up here and that's how you make it double sided without having to cut out two pieces and sew them together so so this is how mine would look and the folded end is on top here and yeah make sure there's enough and yeah, so I'm going to trace this and cut it out.
cut it out this is what it would look like and if you were to open it up it's like almost like a um, diamond and when you fold it it makes like one bandana looking thing so after we do that we are going to do the trim so how I do the trim I'm gonna get my fabric so the fabric size that I usually get is a yard and I find that that is a perfect length especially for my large slash extra large size bandanas and that it is more than plenty for my medium and especially more than plenty for my small size so just for reference this is a yard long and I'm just gonna cut the whole thing um, but essentially what I do is whatever and I'm using for the trim I will just fold it over on itself and you can make this as big as you want I recommend doing like one and a half inches I don't uh, measure precisely I do eyeball it so I'm gonna fold it over like that and then to help kind of keep it in place while you're marking it and cutting it, I would recommend ironing it down. That way it is flat and it'll stay there more so than if you were to not iron it. So just a little tip that might be helpful. like I mentioned so I would recommend doing that and then we also again just have our banana cut out and when you open it up it is just one piece of fabric but you fold it over at the top and it is a dog bandana so now we are going to move over to my desk where my sewing machine is at all right so now I am at my desk with my sewing machine it is all threaded and ready to go and my fabrics and scissors and pins so these next two steps you can do in either order you can either make the trim first then hem the bandana or vice versa I usually just hem the bandana first so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to start with the bandana first and you're going to lay it out and I tried to iron it as best as I could but it's been folded for a while so it might take a couple times to iron it out so just ignore the creases but you're going to lay it out flat and we are going to hem these edges and use the pins. I am holding the camera with one hand but I will show you guys when I put my camera down and kind of do a close up but you are going to fold over these two edges like that and you're going to pin them. It doesn't need to be like a huge hem or anything like half an inch quarter of an inch will work fine. So once you have both sides pinned, now we're going to sew where those pins are. So we're going to sew just straight down on both sides with our sewing machine. Okay, so now that we have sewed both sides, this is 
what it looks like and this is going to be the collar hem so that way it has a nice hemmed opening to stick the collar through so that is what it should look like right now and now I'm gonna move on to the trim so I'm gonna grab my fabric that I cut out and then this is the part where you are going to need cardboard or just something thick I really do recommend cardboard you can get this from like Amazon boxes I got mine from a back of a sketchbook the last like piece in it is usually like the back is usually cardboard and I just cut this from there and this is going to be how thick each trim is so I just grabbed a bandana to show you guys but what I'm talking about is the trim and then each pleat however thick your cardboard is that's about how thick each pleat will be so that is really up to you how big you want them this is this is three fourths big and then the length of it as long as it fits like in your sewing machine area then that will work this is like five and a half inches long so that isn't too particular but the width of it is how thick your pleats will be so once you have this piece cut out we are going to start making our own trim so really all you'll need is just the fabric and your little cut out piece of cardboard and let's get to sewing some trim i'm going to explain it as best i can with my one hand and then i will show you guys close-ups and what i mean when i am done explaining and can use both hands okay so you have the trim and it is folded over like that and then your piece of cardboard however thick you made it we are going to set the cardboard long ways at the top and then we're going to flip it down once and this is where you are going to start your, your first pleat. You're going to get the fabric, it doesn't have to be perfect, but <laughs> get the fabric pinch and make it as thick as the cardboard. So you can see this pleat is as thick as the cardboard and then you're going to sew sew this part and basically repeat that process so let me get this started and then I can show you guys I thought I would stop and explain what's going on and just explain it again just from a different angle but first I do have my little sewing buddy huh you're gonna have a pretty bandana after this right huh <laughs> yeah my pretty girl I have sewn a few and just to be very clear the open side should be the side that is going under the needle of the folded side the folded side is over here open side is the one that's going under the needle and then I also when you make a pleat you only sew halfway through it before you grab the cardboard so let me sit you guys down and try to show okay so I am in the middle of a pleat I hope this is a good angle so I am going to place my cardboard up against the last pleat and you can kind of see the cardboard and then the end of that pleat is right is right there I've only sewn through half of it so we're gonna place the cardboard up against that fold take your fabric and fold it over so the end is touching the cardboard just hold it down remove your cardboard and then you are going to sew halfway through it. So let me do that. So I'm about halfway through it or I'm just through it enough where it's not going to unravel. Again, take your cardboard, put it up against the fold, the last fold, pinch your fabric, Fold it over so where it's about the length of your cardboard. Just hold it down with your finger. Remove the cardboard piece and then hold it while you sew. And sometimes when it 
just gets bunched up I just open it that way it can lay it flat before the needle gets to it so, so halfway through the pleat and you just keep repeating that until your whole trim is sewed After that this is what your trim should look like so cute and it is easy once you get the hang of it so if you have any questions please let me know down below I tried to explain it the best I could and get close-ups for you guys but if I didn't explain something well or you have any questions let me know I'd love to answer them for you um, so yeah so we have our trim we have our trim and our hemmed bandana so now we are going to be sewing these two together you will need the bandana the trim and your pins and okay so first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your bandana fabric situated the correct way so you can see on this side is where like the fold is you want to keep that face down okay and you want like the pretty side the part you want to show at the end facing towards you okay <laughs> it'll make sense at the end so you're gonna want to have it like this and then you're gonna take your trim let me get it from this end and you can see I have the stitching on this end the folded is over here so you are going to take your trim and with the pretty side up towards you you are going to line it up with this edge so the stitched end is right here and the pretty folded in is here so the folded in is going to face inside and you are just going to best I can with one hand again <laughs> um, follow oh this all got twisted follow there we go this edge okay and it's okay if at the end you have more once we sew we can cut it off so again just like start at the corner and the stitch end is met with this open end and it'll look like that and that's again why I said you want to have the tip curved because it is easier to follow your trim with than if it was a straight point that's just a very tight curve for the trim to follow and so yeah so it'll be like this and then you will take it and fold it like that and when you fold it again the hem the ugly side <laughs> will be facing you when you fold it and yeah it looks like that and again when you fold it if you have extra sticking out that's perfectly okay we will deal with that at the end but essentially it'll look like that you know more lined up when you have using two hands and then you will pin this side and you will sew it up and then we are almost done so I'm going to show you guys close up more in detail but yeah that's basically how it goes I just finished pinning it and you can see I pinned around it and then I have my extra trim so now you are just gonna sew following your pin <laughs> these two sides of the bandana up and around and to the corners and if you have extra it is hanging out like this and just to make double sure um, the ugly hem is facing out towards you there it goes 
is facing out to you right now and yeah you should be able to um, put your fingers in there it is open down to the corner but yeah the hem the ugly side it should be facing you right now next we are going to flip this inside out so from either side of the holes that we have you are just going to start flipping it inside out so and just take your time doing this because it is kind of a lot at once but yeah you start working it kind of pull it and yeah it looks really weird but I promise you it works <laughs> And I do know they make sewing tools that can help you pull fabric through, but since I have large dogs, I'm making large bandanas, so I am able to just like use my fingers. Okay, so flipping it out, and sometimes I will grab something or to like help push out the corner, like scissors, <laughs> or you can just like pull on the fabric and it'll you know straighten out for you so alrighty so this is what it looks like inside out and mine is all wrinkly but again you can iron it out so this is what it looks like and we have our long piece here and so really what you want to do is just cut it where you want so it will look like that when you cut it and then you will have like a very cute bandana so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part off I just finished trimming mine and I trimmed it on this side and yeah I think this is so cute and again excuse that it's wrinkly it's just because I flipped it inside out I will iron it again but I think this is so cute and if you want to leave your bandana like this you're very happy with it then yeah that's pretty much like the biggest part of this project I think it's so cute um, but you can also add embellishments and I'm going to add an iron-on patch because I think that will just like add something because this fabric is kind of plain so I thought it would be perfect to add a iron-on patch like that so I'm going to go ahead and do it but again like I said if you want to leave your bandana as is then iron it out and yeah this is what it looks like and you can fit a collar in there and the pretty hem is on the outside so. so I have my ironing board set up I have my bandana I have the iron-on patch and a scrap piece of fabric so I'm just gonna follow the instructions on the back and Mercedes cot is right there and her and Moose are playing so ignore that but yeah so I think first I'm just going to iron this out because it was wrinkly that way it'll go on clean so and then I'm going to put so I'm laying it flat and I'm going to put my little iron on where I want it I'm trying to get it in the middle I think I'll be happy with that. I'm gonna place a scrap piece of fabric. I usually keep scrap and it doesn't have to be big at all, just enough to cover it. So place it over and then it said to press for 10 to 15 seconds. Then it says to also flip it over and do the same. Okay, sorry, Moose just jumped on the bed, so sorry if that was shaky or if I move positions a little bit. Moose just jumped on the bed, and that's where you guys are again, so I think it is on there. I think that is so cute. All right, let me give you guys a close-up. <laughs> okay, so finished bandana should look something like this. I think that is so cute. All right, Mercedes. See, she on her cot. You like your bandana? Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh, yeah. You like your bandana? I think you're gonna look. Oh. <laughs> oh, my sweet girl. 
I think you're gonna look cute. Oh yeah, you're gonna look so cute with your new bandana, huh? See, look. Say, oh, it looks so cute. You like it? My sweet girl. <laughs> She would do this all day if I would let her. Okay, get down. Oh, you're welcome, get down. Good girl. <laughs> so I think Mercedes likes it, um, not that she cares, but I think it looks so cute. She is my little princess, hence the crown. But yeah, I think this is so much fun to make and there are so many variations that you can do between switching out the fabric in the middle, the main fabric in the trend. There's just so many combinations, so many embellishments you can do. Like I just did an iron-on patch, you could do like a star or the buttons like I showed you in some of the ones that I've sewn previously but yeah this is kind of how it should turn out but yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful I think sewing your own dog bananas at home is a great option one because you can customize it to however you want you can switch around the fabrics just make it your own and two it's unique like no one else has this bandana that you're making and three it can be really inexpensive compared to buying bandanas online i personally love going to joann's for my fabric they always have sales they always have coupons that you can layer on top of sales so check out your joann's they're always having sales so if they're not having one now they'll have one next week I promise you so check out your Joann's I know there is some fabric at Walmart like the quarter ones they don't have a great selection but if you want to try there you can pretty inexpensive and then you can also kind of like I mentioned earlier if people in your household are getting rid of clothes if you're getting rid of clothes see if you can use that fabric that shirt those pants to make dog bandanas out of you don't necessarily have to go out and buy your fabric you can find it at home so that is going to be the end of this video of this tutorial this diy for cute dog bandanas and sewing them yourself again i hope this was helpful if you have any questions if anything that i was explaining was confusing to you please ask your questions down below i'd be more than happy to answer and i answer all of my comments so feel free to leave anything down below also if you make a bandana following this tutorial I would love to see how it turned out so you can message I guess pictures to me I'd love to see them at the pause of purpose on Instagram I would love to see them also thank you for bearing with my dogs in the background of this video they are ready to go outside right now so I'm going to wrap up this video but thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one bye friends Thank you.